Hey everybody, welcome back to another video in Serious Creations. Yes, the name has changed, but I have an exciting project today. I'm going to be building the flight test commuter. This is a model of, a, of the Cessna 150 designed by Ben Harbor. Flight test used, used to supply their speed build kit and their free plans for this plane, but now they don't supply either. So I found a post on a flight test forum about they have all the plans for most of flight tests planes i got i'm gonna get the plans from there so i'll leave the link to that in the description below what are we waiting for let's start building You see these lines? They're to crease it and then bend it upwards. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it very lightly, then peel off the paper from in here, and then sort of bend it and mold it upwards, and same on the other side, to make it look more rounded and look more realistic and just overall better. I'll do a similar thing with the airfoil on the wings. Most flight test planes have the airfoil on the wing sort of chined and folded around the spar. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of folding it here, I'm going to peel off all this paper and then bend it and curve it around the spar so it looks smooth and much better. Sort of like what I did on the fuselage. On this plane, the spars on the inside are just made of foam board and they're just to get the shape of the wing. They're not to provide much strength. And the strength comes from the 3D shape on the wing. But when I fly, I usually do like crazy rolls and stuff. So I usually end up snapping the wings in half if it's not a very aerobatic plane like this one. To ensure that that doesn't happen, I'm going to reinforce it with some thin wood on either side of the spar. I'm doing this because the wing usually breaks in this area because it's in the middle and all the pressure of either side is concentrated right here. That's why I put this sandwiched wood on. I'm also going to put packing tape around it like usual when I fold it up to make the airfoil but then I'm going to put tape here and here to make it even stronger in that area. I also did this on the tiny trainer after I snapped the wing in half. You can see there's tape all the way out to here whereas usually there's just like a strip down the middle. Make sure to check out the video where I do this and modify the wing of the tiny trainer. For this plane, I'm going to use the standard 
lemon with the diversity in antenna and end pins. You can see here, it's kind of an inexpensive receiver. That's why I got it. So they didn't pay much on packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. In here, there's, it comes with the, just the lemon receiver itself. It comes with a bind plug. This case that you can put around it. And mounting tape. I'm gonna go and put it in the plane. Now I just need to paint it, install the receiver and the wheels, and then it's ready to fly. The paint job on the fuselage is finished. I didn't paint the wing, I just put this decal tape on. So now I just need to do some stuff and then I can go flying. For this build, I'm going to be using these one and a half inch Dave Brown light flight wheels. I like them because they're very light and this plane is meant to have much smaller wheels, but I think it'll perform better on the ground with bigger wheels and I think it will look better also. Let's put them on the plane. For the cockpit, I'm going to use these cockpit decals from a different plane. To make them the right shape, I'm just going to lay the template of the cockpit on top, then cut that shape out of here, and then stick them on the plane. This is what I was talking about with the smooth airfoil on the wing. You can see it's not chined or anything. It's nice and smooth. That makes it look better and more aerodynamic. You can also notice that right here on the side of the fuselage, it's very rounded and curved instead of being all chined and not very nice. The build process was slightly tricky sometimes, but overall it was great. I'm really happy with the mods I did, and I'm really excited to go flying with this plane. So stay tuned for my next video where I fly this thing. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.